always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah. I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. So? You're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh. Hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Righto, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Ooh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah... I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Guys, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night! Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said... Next time, for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> ah, so freaking cute! So, the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, 
I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah. This has been great. See you, Jesse. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place. And it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. The Rainbow Beacon. It's powered by the Nether Star the Witherstorm dropped. Oh, I know! Even before I moved to Beacon Town, I came on a trip to see the Beacon. I love this thing. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mmm. Hmm. Huh. Hope Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. You craving seafood? Always. Why? Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Cha, yeah, dude, it is awesome! Letting everybody be themselves, super individualistic, house over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Ah, a blank canvas. That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, 
Jesse, dude, thanks! It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft! Mm-hmm. Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is a statue. Whoa! Oh, wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Huh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Ah, those were the days. Simpler times. <laughs> Lucas signing today. Ah, I'm so happy people have been liking his book so much. Really, you? My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days, but I still have so many questions. Huh, <sighs> all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes! I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I love that. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Tentacles everywhere? Well... It's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing! I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just the best! Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Best pig that ever lived. Miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. I think he would have liked you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I bet you would have totally been friends. Wow. Oh, my gosh, it's you. Oh, yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? Oh, wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah, talk about knowledgeable casting. It would be an honor to say that the pig was hand-chosen by Jesse for the part. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see him. 
Okay, piggies, show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban, smushy cute cheeks, and Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. No question. Look at that regal little guy. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye. happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? What is this for? Jesse. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Spitting in fate's eye. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Petra? Huh. I swear she said to meet right here. kicking butt. Nice! Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Yeah, I guess it has been a while since I've done this. Well, that's obvious. You're not even wearing a good suit of armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff. So what? And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Look alive. These deadheads should help you dust off those cobwebs. <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. Lost 
lost my step yet. Well, you sure showed me. I gotta say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three... Axel has Boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas... Is writing. I figured. Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Hey, don't get bummed. Even without them, we're having fun, right? Yeah, that's a good point. At least we've got the cool people here. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me, it's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait! What? It's monster hunting time! Hey, it's Jesse! What's up? Good to Ooh, see ya! Perfect! <laughs> I'm starving. Get down! It's gonna blow! Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Woo! All right, where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Look down there! So, you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! Totally 
did the trick. Ha! See ya! Hey! No fair! Aw, oh, yeah! In your face! Petra! Petra! You're number one! You're number one! A uh, cheater much? I totally saved you back there. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right, sorry. I shouldn't be gloating. I was just excited. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? <coughs> it's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure-sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. We just need to bring her back to her owner. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Come here, Llama. That's what you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the... Ugh, gross. Come on. Let's get after that armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you. Mayor Jesse, I've told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel a shovel. Am I right? How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Whisper. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Whoa, 
Robo Girl. What is it? Some sort of glove. Or a gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. Man, what are the odds? Command blocks? Portal keys? Why is it always me? I don't know, but there's definitely a pattern. Uh-oh. Get off the pyramid! Oh. What the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground. Some sort of... heck mouth? Sure, yeah. Heck mouth. I... I don't think I can see the bottom. Ugh, gives me the willies. And what's that sound coming from down there? Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. What is that? Not sure. But I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but in here. Not getting out the way we came, though. There! Come on! to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something? Ooh, mysterious. Okay then, <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. 
because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was, that was really bad. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. <clears throat> okay. Come on, you. <clears throat> Gotta get you home. We have to do something about that, that heck mouth. We already did. It's totally sealed up. You did the sign. Can't we talk about this after I bring her back? Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And... Now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been not great. Hoping this is the end of it. I can't believe this person tricked you. That's terrible. And so unfair. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama, or... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. You're one of my best friends. And it sounds like you really need my help. For the record, I don't need help, but thank you. Don't worry. We're gonna get this whole mess sorted out. Hope you're right. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and... Get this thing off my hand! Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. Stella is strict about how things look here. She claims the top level are the diamond class apartments, but they're just one block wider. Hmm, I don't know if this is quite my taste. I prefer what we're doing in Beacon Town. Yeah, Stella always wants everything exactly her way. Doesn't matter how other people want to build. That's why I like Beacon Town better, too. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't most times. Hey, that's why you've got me, remember? We're a team, and we will take care of this no problem. Sure hope you're right. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. This Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. is a classy mineshaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. I can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anything. That 
is one shiny skyscraper. Hey, the llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep, she's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough, making up rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. Nice day. Nice technique. How about that weather, huh? One minute it's beautiful, the next... No? Not a weather fan? Fine, jerk. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Ah, oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you like that one, but actually, I think this one is more for you, don't you think? That's right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Come on, you. Oh, Luna, my darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Surely you think about it as much as I do? Oh, boy. Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Ah, oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. <coughs> and, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. Ah, oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. That's... Ugh. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. 
I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Of what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Hey, you're the one that decided to live here. I... Yeah, I deserve that. But can we please wait till we're out of town to talk about it? Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm gonna get my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. We'll roll in, fight the bodyguards, snag the sword, get out again. Piece of cake. I like the sound of that. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get fire out! it up. I don't like you. Ha! Not a fan of yours either. <clears throat> we still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes! I do! It does seem like weird timing. Shush! Hey! Shush you! I'm trying... <clears throat> ...to have a conversation here! <clears throat> this whole Champion City thing is kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey! What's going on out here? Uh, so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. Yipes! What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean the friends who are never around anymore? You guys don't need me. What did you say? No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. Well, what about loyalty, huh? To your friends, the people who take care of you. Doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, dummy. But do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? I've got my own life, my own stuff, too. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge box, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? <clears throat> so, our rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival. Says the person breaking into my treasure room. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, 
okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. I've got better treasure than that anyway. Who needs it? You couldn't stop me if you wanted to. That sword is ours. So classy. Just remember that you had to beat up on an innocent, beautiful civic leader to get it. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival! Oh, man. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. What? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, okay? I already know I don't deserve this back. <sighs> I can't stay angry at you, Petra. I'm really disappointed, but I forgive you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> what is that? Charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Uh, uh, cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. Uh, so good to have you back. Uh, no, you don't. Ugh. Woo! That would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Come on, we need to get this thing covered up again. to get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever. And it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Well, if I can offer some advice, the best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. 
Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. <coughs> yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff, too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. Uh, but you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm, I I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. Thanks for noticing. I am very brave. Always good to see a hero that knows their own worth. <gasps> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. So awesome to meet you. Love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did, huh? You can, can't you? <sighs> Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters. Yeah. And it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So, where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument, because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. 
But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay. So how about you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us. Be our guide. No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. <sighs> Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <laughs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Jack, you don't understand. We need that map. And I hear you. I really do. But I swear to you, it's not worth it. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Jack, Jack! Sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah! We'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? Then yeah, that's the spirit. Yes. You are, right? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. Almost too good to be true. Ah, yes! And Jack, man, he is awesome, right? Ah, I can't believe it. I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Hey! I like him. Can't wait to see him in action out there. I was just thinking the same thing. He actually seems pretty cool. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin. <laughs> Oh, fine. What'd he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. Hmm. <laughs> Easy, Nurmy. Don't blow a gasket. That's awesome, Nurm. Welcome aboard. Woohoo! <laughs> he says, woohoo! Yeah, I figured that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? You're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port. Okay, jeez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on. I need to make a quick pit stop, and I can show you some real armor. you're here. Hey, 
Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it! Why didn't I factor in rehearsal time? Stupid, stupid! I'm sure I can shift a few things around, maybe push back your lunch with the followers of Soren. They're very strange anyway, they'll understand. Maybe. And did you know Lucas left another draft for you to look at? I said you'd try and give notes when possible, but not to get his hopes up. And then I left a general block of time for Founding Day-related disasters. I figured that would cover any of the various and sundry things that come up. Ah! Sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends. And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. I am very nervous about this. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... This is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Knew a guy like that once. So many to-do lists he starved because he couldn't find the list reminding himself to eat. True story. Sad. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. A strong, silent walk. Another good step. Nice. Hey. Wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no. I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. see them coming. The Ender Defender. Very fresh armor. Hmm. Reminds me of the Pukjuk Slime Runners. Very tough cookies. The Star Shield. Great set of armor. Yeah, very sleek, very spicy. Shield of Infinity. I love how regal this one looks. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when he named it though. Dragon's Bane. So cool. Oh, great name too. Color me impressed. I am. Swordbreaker. Nice classic name. Awesome modern look. I think that one might just be my favorite. Seriously. Yeah? That one? Glimmering 
diamonds and shiny gold. Tim would have looked great in it if he was real. So much pomp for a guy who never actually existed. Non-existent guys lost. My gain. Griefer armor, if I've ever seen it. Magnus was a crazy guy. Yup. Went out doing what he loved most. Blowing, blowing stuff, stuff up. Ah, Adamentium and Pervium. I always suspected this one was Ivor's favorite. I think he just liked saying the name. more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So, where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh, shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. <sighs> oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. I wouldn't have it any other way. What? It sounds awesome. Quit staring at me like that. All right, before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hmm. Well, hey, what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. Yeah, I've seen weirder than that. True. Old builders, wither storms, computers. Well, let's just agree to disagree. I'll give you one thing, though. Admin or not, what you're going to see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The, the sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. 
Hey, uh, how exactly are we going to breathe? You know a guy that taught me how to hold my breath for 10 minutes. I mean, that's impressive, but... Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kravas. Time to suit up and roll out. Temples. That way. How? Compass. Right! Oh, that's so cool! sure that we all have our limbs, how about we find that structure block? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Oh man, those things Pretty, are uh, impressive, right, Petra? If you look closely, the carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep, completely unique. No one's quite sure why. But you'll never have an experience like this ever again. Hmm? What did he say? He said, uh, he agrees. And that you're super lucky to be here. My brain can barely process them as statues, they're so big. Right? And what's up with their faces? They don't even look, you know, like people. I know. I hate them. Mm. Uh, no, Nerm. There's nothing wrong with not people. Come on, jeez. Need a sec, just to check my enchantments. Yeah, gotta make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong? 
Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Oh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Like, uh, frozen in place. Uh, I'll be all right. I know it's pretty intense, but you don't have to be scared, Jack. But this is way harder than I thought it would be. Oh, boy. You're going to be okay. You're right. Thanks, Jesse. Guys, hey, I found something! Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels to have everyone around you think you're some... has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Come on, Jack, you're tougher than this. Buck up! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm freaking Jack. Nothing can stop me. There you go. I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. I don't get it. It hasn't been particularly hard so far. Yeah? That's because we haven't been into any of the center rooms yet. Blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Jack, is that a dark prismarine? Or something like it. All right. Should be able to use those sponges to soak up the... floating water the Guardians are in... water. Floating in mid-air? That should be impossible. Mm. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Mm. Oh, he won't listen to me anymore. Guys! Mm. Sorry, Nurm, but I think Jack's right. There's got to be an explanation for this. See? Hmm. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the Guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but uh, someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever is doing the running. Okay, I'll run and keep the Guardians off your back. You and Jack do the sponges. Yeah. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready. Ready, then go! Hey, laser lips! I'm 
so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack? Jack, are you okay? I thought you had this. No. I'm, I'm not okay. I didn't deserve our awesome cool guy handshake before. Hmm. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure blocks gotta be close. How are you doing over here? Okay. I can't stop thinking about what happened with Jack. Yeah? Just... If I saw your inventory piled down here, I don't think I'd be handling it much better than he is. Wow, that is like an unnatural amount of loot to pop out of one Guardian. Let's see what he dropped. Okay, Prismarine shards and... Whoa! Prismarine crystals! Ha! Sweet drop! Those are mega rare! Mine! Glowing obsidian? So strange. Uh, hello! Is someone there? Uh, what? Hello? <laughs> I, I thought I heard someone! Kalu Kalei! <laughs> I think if you get the door open, my cage should open too. You know, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to hear another voice after all this time. How'd you get up there, though? Oh, I, I got trapped a long time ago. It's very smelly in here now, and it, I'll say nothing more on the subject. I'll leave you to it. I've got a good feeling about you and that door. <laughs> so, no clue on how to open the door, then? Afraid not. But I, I really do believe in you. Jack, you okay? Don't really feel like being talked to right now, Jesse. I'm brooding. Hmm. Looks like some sort of pattern. Okay, and that's Dark Prismarine. Sea Lanterns, check. Hey, Nerm. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Ah, oh, yeah, you must be worried about Jack, right? He'll be okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I'll get back to this. Hmm. Dark Prismarine. Not quite the structure block, but seems useful. Well, at least this temple was nice enough to provide a crafting table. Ooh, Prismarine. I was just looking at that door, and I don't think that's what we need here. Maybe try a sea lantern? Oh, right. Here. Sea lantern. Nice.
Oh, thank the tides. I'm finally free. <laughs> it has it has been a very very long time. <laughs> Vars! Oh, Jack! Oh. Wait. This is another one of your adventurer friends? Yes. This is my friend Voss. I thought you were a goner, man. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Wait, how'd you survive down here for so long? <laughs> if you sit absolutely still, you'd be amazed at how long a stack of pork chops will last. <laughs> anyway, it's so good to meet you. Now, what are your names? I'm Jesse. This is Petra. Oh, excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Well, if I'm not mistaken, you've just made it further into this temple than anyone ever before. <laughs> you are truly something special. She has her moments. So, escape time, yes? Time to get out of here and leave? What? Yeah, what? Come now, Jesse. You've made it this far. And you're still alive. That's a victory enough. Oh. I'd really like to see the sunshine again. I hope it's as nice as I remember. Sorry, Voss. Not until we get the treasure that we came here for. Yup. <sighs> Even I'll admit, it would be nice to finally get some closure on this place. Well, uh, fine. But if you get me killed after all this time, I'm going to be incredibly cross. Ugh. More of those weird statues. At least these ones aren't doing that creepy head thing. Zombies. Oh, wow. Wow. Boss, Nerm, we did it. We're inside. <sighs> yes, and it is incredible. Okay, guys. Structure blocks gotta be in here. How do you know? Just... a feeling, I guess? <sighs> Creepy. Feel like this is important. But I don't really know why. home have never even seen Prismarine before. Yeah, much less this weirdo Prismarine. So cool! You guys doing okay? I don't like any of it, Jesse. It's giving me a bad feeling. And my instincts are better than nine ocelots tied together. Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Just like old times, buddy. Man, these are bright. Love it! Hey, Nerm. Think you could give me a hand with these? Oh. <sighs> Nermy says they say, Once the world was flat, no mountains, no rivers, no trees, until the admin, uh, built the mountains, sculpted the rivers, crafted the trees. Bunch of superstitious malarkey. Nerm, sorry 
to bother you again, but... Hmm. Huh? The admin saw there were no more heroes worthy of his challenges. So we left this world until the next great heroes emerged. Can't believe you buy into this stuff. That's obviously just the cop-out way of saying he never really existed. underground. The structure block. <laughs> Nurm says there's some writing here. Old runes. Hmm. The admin's gifts declaring your path. Choose wisely. That's all he's got. I guess you can only take one. Nurm says that one's the Tower of the Warrior. Oh, wow. Yeah, I bet that could shred a gang of mobs in no time flat. <laughs> says that's the Wall of the Builder. That's pure obsidian. Nothing's getting through that, that's for sure. The Warrior Path. That sounds like what we need. Well, it's supposed to be a gift, right? by all those freaky soldiers. Perhaps... they went away? I'm guessing no.
Ah! Well dodged. My sword! I can... Uh, I can almost reach it! It's so close! Don't worry! I've got it! Mostly! Your block goes. Slam it down, Jesse. We'll keep the creepers off your back. I think that's really the end of it? Huh. Certainly looks that way to me. Then come on. Let's go home, you guys. Oh! <laughs> the 
This is more people than I've seen in a long time. Hey, everyone. Happy Founding Day. <laughs> oh, welcome back. We were worried you'd miss it. You're back! Thank goodness. This has... Ooh, this has been a lot of work. People all need things approved. Or help with building. Or wrangling animals. Hey, this was just your first time trying on the leader hat. You'll get the hang of it someday. You really think so? Heck yeah! So, did you find what you were searching for? That's right, everyone. I brought this back for all of you. We're going to use it to keep building and make every founding day even bigger and more awesome than the last. They really liked it. Yeah, they did. Guess you've still really got it. Yeah, other than having half the number of eyes I had when we left, I'd call that a rousing success. Yeah, that part's not the best. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Jack, I'm so sorry. I was really sure you had it back there. I don't blame you. I thought so too. Just as frustrated with myself. Oh, Jack! I, uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just coming to get Jack. No, no, you're fine, friend. Voss and I are heading to the shop to start planning our next expedition. You coming, Petra? In a little bit. I'm still hanging with Jesse for now. I don't know what I'm going to do about you, though. Jesse. What's that? Whoa! You dudes heard that too, right? Yes! Terrifying! Yeah. What was it? Go for 
time to write the next chapter.